Hey folks, welcome to Concept. Welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we will understand about implied volatility, wherein we will understand what is option traders take on uh, implied volatility. Wherein first we will understand what is uh, implied volatility, and then eventually we will understand about few characteristics, and then we will try to build an option trading system around uh, implied volatility. So. Let's start by understanding what is volatility first. Okay. So in simple words, volatility is nothing but movement. Okay. So move the movement. Okay. Move the volatility. Less the movement. Less the volatility. Now, there would be two types of volatilities. Okay, so in simple words, what is volatility? Volatility is nothing but movement. Now, in options, there are two types of volatilities. First one is historical volatility, which is calculated based on the historical prices of the stock. So you can call it more like standard deviation. So it is basically tracking how much a stock or an index historically has deviated from the mean in terms of percentage return. So you can call it as simple as the standard deviation. So that is historical volatility. How it is calculated? It is calculated based on the day on day closing prices of the instrument. Now there comes a concept of implied volatility. So we being trading in options, we have something like implied volatility, which is forecasted volatility, which is forward looking volatility, which helps us in tracking the expectations, the perspective of the option traders in the times ahead. Now, what is implied volatility? Implied volatility is expected volatility to play out in the future by the option traders. Okay, how much volatility option traders are expecting to play out in the underlying in the coming future in coming few days is shown to us by implied volatility. So the logic is simple. More. Uh, you know, volatility they are expecting more would be the implied volatility, less the uncertainty they are expecting or less volatility. If they are expecting less would be the implied volatility. Now, where will I get to see the implied volatility? So first of all, there, there are multiple places in the application. I will show you a few of them. We will get to see uh, the IVs. So it is also referred to IVs. So over here, we will get to see the implied volatility of all the options which are trading over here, okay, in the option chain itself, which is free. So you can navigate to the link in the description box below and also uh, from here in the iCard and navigate to the option chain too. Now let's understand what is, what is how does this affect, okay, so we understood what is uh, IVs, what are historical volatilities, but how does it affect me, okay, if I'm an option trader, how does that thing affect? So let's see. If IV goes down, what you are getting to see 15 rupees from the call side and 15 rupees roughly from the put side, they are getting melted. Now, why they are getting melted? They are getting melted because the IVs have dropped by 25 percentage. Similarly, let's say if IV go down by 44 percentage, see the premium uh, decay that happened because of drop in IV, that is humongous. It's almost 50 rupees on the straddle. 27 rupees here, 27 call sides here, 27 roughly uh, put sides here. So the idea is that if I keep a close eye, I can obviously go ahead and make something out of this. <clears throat> so first thing is that IVs and premiums are positively correlated. So it doesn't matter if it is call or put, if the IVs go down, call option premium goes down, put option premium goes down. And if the IVs go up, as you can see, the call and put, <coughs> sorry, both premiums, they actually go up, considering all the other things remaining constant. Now, another aspect of uh, implied volatility is such that uh, that implied volatility and the underlying, they're typically negatively correlated okay, in most of the cases. Will it happen always? Maybe not. But in most of the cases, the IVs and uh, the underlying they are negatively correlated. So I am in the IV chart analytic over here. The orange line is presenting implied volatility and the green line is presenting futures price. Now, what you can see over here is, see the implied volatility drops, the underlying goes up. The implied volatility goes up, the underlying drops. So the idea is that they will be uh, negatively correlated in most of the cases, but will it happen always? Maybe not. So basically IV is nothing but 
a risk gauger how much risk the participants are expecting how much riskiness is there in the market so over here if you talk about option traders perspective on implied volatility or volatility in general it's simple if option traders are expecting the future to be more uncertain to be a little bit risky so to account for that risk the implied volatility will go up right the ivs will go up the premiums will become more expensive the reason is because of the uncertainty which is expected in the upcoming times so that is the reason you will generally see whenever there is any major event or something like result so let's take an example acc now if you see over here before the result the implied volatility it actually went up so this dot is nothing but the result date that on this day acc announced its result now if you see in most of the cases so if i just get to see any result so no recent result let me just see tcs so now here i go see before the event the implied volatility it actually went up see over here as well the iv spiked up now why it spiked up because on this day the traders knew that there would be some riskiness in the market this result day okay this would affect the stock adversely due to which the future okay the future as in uh, after few days ahead from here the stock might become volatile okay it might give big big movement because of any major event due to which the implied volatility it actually moved up now we being option traders what we can take away from this is that before any major event we can prefer uh, you know buying of options more or less okay then obviously we can sharpen this entire thing with some of the other analytics but the idea is before any major event we can prefer option buying strategies and once the results are out we can prefer option writing strategies wherein before major event we can prefer long straddles naked option buying right something like that and after uh, the result we can prefer something like iron condor and so on and so forth so you know the hedged option writing strategies now coming to the last aspect the implied volatility is uh, mean reverting in nature now if you see the orange line it is nowhere trending right it is just oscillating it is just mean reverting in a range now so the trade from there is very simple if it is at the bottom i will prefer buying volatility if it is at the top i will prefer selling volatility now uh, to catch top or bottom may not be very easy for everybody because there are a lot of stocks i can't keep an eye on all the stocks so there is a simple analytic in the application which is named as wall trader it will give us uh, opportunities for long and short volatility so over here it is simple for me if it is a long volatility trading opportunity that means uh, i have to choose strategies from which i will make money because of the implied volatility going up right similarly over here as well sinjin and so on and so forth and wherever there are short volatility opportunities over there i will choose strategies where i will make money because of drop in implied volatility so yes folks that was it from uh, my side thank you so much for staying tuned along with me up till here bye bye and uh, happy trading